Good day class, I am Sir Sly and welcome back to my channel. Katulad ng lagi kong sinasabi, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng mga nag-subscribe, nag-like at nanonood ng aking mga videos. Kung bago ka pa lang sa channel ko, click or hit that subscribe button and notification bell para updated ka sa mga future videos ko. To proceed with what we will have for today, remember ninyo sa last video ko or sa previous video ko na mention ko doon na may isa pang purpose ang private comment section. So for today's video, magsasubmit tayo ng sagot sa assignment gamit ang private comment section. Again, the first thing that you have to do is to launch your Google Classroom application. Once na launch mo na ang Google Classroom application mo, punta ka sa iyong classroom. Again, you can access the assignment or you can open the assignment sa stream section ng inyong Google Classroom. But, I suggest that you open it sa classwork kasi sa stream, pwede siyang matabunan ng mga messages from your teacher or from your class officers. So, it's better to access the assignment sa classwork. Ayan. Now, if you will notice, sa classwork natin ngayon, merong naka-gray at naka-blue na assignments. Pag naka-gray, ang ibig sabihin yan, na-submit mo na yung sagot para dyan sa assignment na yan. Kapag blue, ibig sabihin yan yung latest assignment at hindi ka pa nakakapagsagot sa assignment na yan. So, yan ang i-click natin ngayon, yung kulay blue. Okay. So, once you open your assignment, again, nakalagay sa taas yung due date. So, for this assignment, the due date is on Tuesday, 12 p.m. And then, the title of your assignment. Then, below the title, we have the highest possible score for that assignment. So, 10 points. Then, below the highest possible score, you can find the class comment. So, sa class comment, pwede kang magtanong uh, regarding sa assignment ninyo. The question that you will write in the class comment is also visible to your classmates. Now, if you notice sa assignment na to, walang attachment na nilagay si teacher. So, nagbigay lang siya kaagad ng instructions and then the questions for your assignment. Ang sabi sa instruction, answer the following questions in the private comments section. Okay, so, malinaw na malinaw ang sinasabi. Ilalagay mo ang sagot mo sa private comment section. It is important to read the instruction para hindi ka magkamali sa gagawin mo. Now, bakit nga ba pinapalagay ng teacher mo yung sagot nyo or sagot mo sa assignment sa private comment section? Kapag nilagay mo kasi ang sagot mo sa private comment section, Ang tangi makakakita ng mga sagot mo sa mga tanong ay ang teacher mo lamang. Kapag nilagay mo yung sagot mo sa class comment, makakita ng buong klase yung sagot mo at pwede nilang kopyahin yon. So, para maiwasan ng paggaya nila sa sagot mo, ilalagay mo ang sagot mo ngayon sa private comment. So, for example, sagutin natin yung number 1. Okay, so, number 1. Yan. So, yan yung sagot ko, o yung sagot natin sa number 1. So, to send your answer, i-click lang natin itong icon ng send, itong airplane sa right side. Yan. So, masasend na yung uh, sagot natin. And then, to submit your work, you just click mark as done. Okay, and then again, click mark as done. Okay, yan. Now, again, clickable pa rin yung unsubmit button dahil hindi pa tapos ang ating due date. Ayan. So, pag lumagpas na yung due date, ibig sabihin, hindi ka na pwede magdagdag pa ng sagot dun sa assignment mo. Okay. So, that is basically um, how to answer your assignment sa private comment section. Again, uulitin ko. Kaya tayo nagkasagot sa private comment section para hindi po makita ng mga kaklase mo yung sagot mo. Si teacher lang makakakita ng sagot mo. Okay? So, if you click back, notice mo na nagkulay gray na din yung icon ng assignment natin sa circulatory system. Ibig sabihin, nakapag-submit ka na ng assignment mo para dyan. So, that's it. So, that is how you submit your answer for an assignment in the private comment section. 
So I hope meron kayong tutunan sa discussion natin today. If you have any suggestions for my future videos, feel free to comment it below. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Again, this is Sir Sly. Thank you for watching and always remember not to study hard, but to study smart. See you next meeting. Bye class!